हेलो स्टूडेंट्स कैसे हैं आप लोग मेरा नाम शीतल ठाकुर है एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज लेक्चर इज गोइंग टू बी अबाउट द चैप्टर नंबर थ्री दैट इज द फैक्टर्स ऑफ द लोकेलिटी ऑफ दिस बुक प्रिंसिपल्स एंड प्रैक्टिस ऑफ सिल्वी कल्चर रिटन बाय एल एस खन्ना सो दिस इज अ वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट बुक विच एवरी फॉरेस्ट्री स्टूडेंट शुड नो एज वेल एज द स्टूडेंट्स हु वॉन्ट्स टू सेलेक्ट फॉरेस्ट्री एज देयर ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट फॉर द यूपीएससी स्टेट पब्लिक सर्विसेज इंडियन फॉरेस्ट सर्विसेज स्टेट फॉरेस्ट सर्विसेज ए सी एफ आर एफ ओ एग्जामिनेशन एक्सेट्रा वाई दिस बुक इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दिस बुक प्रोवाइड्स द बेसिक नॉलेज ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट्री दैट्स वाई इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टडी फॉरेस्ट्री यू शुड हैव द आइडिया अबाउट दिस बुक ओके so the chapter 1 and chapter 2 of this book i have already covered in in my previous lectures so if you have not seen that video i will provide the link in the description box and you can check that out okay in today's lecture i will be covering the chapter number 3 that is the factors of the locality okay so this is a very bulky chapter i cannot cover this chapter in one lecture that's why i have to uh, divide this chapter in subgroups okay so in today's lecture i will cover the introduction in which we will study what are the factors of the locality then we will study the definition of the factor of factors of the locality then we will study the classification of the factors of the locality so let's start our lecture Okay so let's start this lecture with a question that why does vegetation varies from one side to the other okay so as you move from one place to other you might have noticed that the vegetation of a particular va uh, place varies that of the other place okay so this is due to the various factors that influence the conditions of a particular site okay all these factors we are going to study in this lecture okay but before that let's have a look on the various types of the vegetations present in india so first of all we have the vegetation in himalayas then in the cold deserts then in the northeast india then we have vegetation in the deserts then in the central india and then in the western ghats okay from the image you can clearly see the different type of the vegetations that varies from place to place okay the vegetation at, uh, at a particular place is different from that of the other place okay you can see the uh, vegetation in the western ghats is completely different from that of the cold deserts okay okay so what are the factors of the locality okay as we all know that the trees and other uh, vegetation present in a forest they are the living entity okay they are the living beings that's why for their growth and development they need food which they derive from the soil and the local temperature and the wind will also have the influence on their growth and development and the rain will provide them the moisture and all the living beings that is the man animal birds insects etc which are living in or around the forest will directly or indirectly have the influence on its growth and development okay therefore from the time of the germination to the time of the felling of the trees and other vegetation forming the forests are influenced by the climate soil topography and the living beings of that place okay so all these factors they are known as the factors of the locality okay so these factors that is the climate soil topography and the living beings they will be different from one place to the other place as a result the forest vegetation present at a particular place will be different from that of the other place okay therefore therefore in other words we can say that the forest occurring naturally in a forest is not an accidental aggregation of the various plants but the result of the complex influence of the climatic adaptive topographic and the biotic factors of the locality okay so jo hamare paas forest hota hai that is the complex influence of the climatic adaptive topographic and biotic factors of a particular place okay so here is the definition of the factors of the locality so the factors of the locality may be defined as the effective climatic adaptive topographic and biotic conditions of a site which influence the vegetations of the locality okay so jo ye factors of the locality hai inko hum environment bhi bol sakte hain kyunki jo environment hai that is also defined as the all the biotic and abiotic factors of a site okay so these factors of the locality contain the biotic and abiotic factors okay so that's why we can call these factors of the locality as the environment of the forest okay so the environment of the forest is also referred as the site by the foresters and habitat by the ecologist okay so therefore these factors may be called as the site factors ya fir inko habitat factors bhi bola jata hai 
so here is the classification of the factors of the locality into four broad categories so first of all we have the climatic factor then we have the topographic factor then we have the ataphic factor and at the end we have the biotic factors okay so all these uh, factors they are very broad and they will be covered in details okay in my upcoming lectures i cannot cover all these uh, topics in my one lecture because they are very very broad so first of all we have the climatic factors climatic factors ke under we have the solar radiation under which we have the light heat and temperature in this we will study how these will affect the growth and development of the trees of the forests and how they will influence the site conditions of an area then we will study the moisture okay so how the moisture is available to the plants uh, what are the factors which affects the moisture then we will study the types of the precipitation then we will study the rainfall pattern in india then we will study the influence of the moisture on the local conditions then after that we have the wind the, uh, under this we will study the influence of the wind on the local conditions after that we have the topographic factor under which we will study the configuration of the land uh, under this uh, we can uh, classify or we can study the land uh, land configuration that is if uh, for example uh, the land is uh, plain or have the hilly terrains okay so under uh, configuration of the land surface we will study all of these then we have the altitude slope aspect and exposure okay so the aspect is the direction towards which a slope faces and the exposure is the relationship of a particular site to, to its weather conditions then we have the ataphic factors under ataphic factors we will study all about the forest soils okay how the soils are formed what are the properties of the soils how the soil will influence the uh, local conditions how the soil will influence the vegetations at a particular area all this will be studied under the edaphic factors after that we will study the uh, sorry uh, after that we will study the biotic factors under this we will study the influence of the plants then we will study the influence of the insects then we will study the influence of the wild animals and influence of man and his animals okay so all these topics will be covered one by one in my upcoming lectures so stay tuned if you want to study all these uh, factors of the locality in details so that's it for today's lecture thank you so much for watching my video i hope this video was helpful uh, to you guys if this is helpful please uh, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon so thank you so much and see you in my next lecture